ancient India rewrites history yet again. Thousand year old caves have just been inspected by stonemasons and engineers and what they found is going to freak you out. These are the Barbar Caves, there's five of them. Carved into solid granite, the polish is so smooth, it's smoother than machine polished marble and slightly less than industrial glass and 20 times smoother than industrial granite. Professional stonemasons were interviewed about recreating this project and how difficult it would be out of 10 and those are their answers. Most said it was impossible. A company called AGP, started by a former stonemason, scanned him with one of these. It's a spinning laser that creates millions of data points that can reconstruct the caves from the inside out with no distortion. Here are the results. The caves have perfect symmetry in the floor, ceiling, and walls. The walls are angled by just a few degrees. Why? Polishing with the aid of gravity is more than doable, that's what we do. Polishing a vertical wall and a curved ceiling, on the other hand, is... The walls have a perfect angle within 0.1 degrees. You can't even tell with your eyes, why was this necessary? The acoustics of these caves are also ridiculous. Granite barely absorbs acoustic waves and the dome at Sudama resonates at 74.9 hertz. This renders speech unintelligible in the chamber. Reverb is the time it takes a sound to decay into nothing. 60 seconds is the max my production software will go. Inside Notre Dame, it'll reverb for about 10 seconds. Sudama 62, Vapika is 70. When they were studying the acoustics, they discovered that the angled walls reduce the floating echo. The caves were rediscovered in 1785 by the colonizer dudes. No function of the caves has ever been discovered. The historical foundation is based on this crude hack job into the perfect walls. It says the absolutely perfect caves were used as a rain shelter. We can all agree that there was a lot of highly trained craftsmen that were needed to complete this. Yet we see nothing this precise anywhere else in India. How were they trained? How did they carve it with no electricity? Torches would suffocate workers if they didn't get silicosis. That's an incurable disease from inhaling rocks. Didn't seem like a concern. The only things we can compare it to are Nakshi Rostam, the Lycian rock tombs, Petra, and maybe a couple other sites like Kailasa. Kailasa was carved out of a single rock in traditional Indian style, decorated head to toe. This has no decoration and emphasizes the precision. The Rig Veda puts a heavy emphasis on sound. So what were they used for? The clues are in geometry. If you want more clues, check out the documentary this whole video is based on. It's on YouTube and narrated by the lovely Johanna James.